So let's talk about the many benefits of ginseng. I recently had some questions about ginseng, like what is it? Um, I know I've heard about it, but I don't know what it does. Well, it's been around the block for a couple years. Try like 2,000 years. So it's been uh, used uh, in Chinese medicine, and it's mainly a super tonic. So it does a lot of things um, to increase your vitality. And it's usually um, good for men over 50, as well as women who are going through menopause. But now, a lot of these benefits I'm gonna talk about come from this one phytonutrient, it's a plant-based chemical, called gensinoside. And there's a tremendous amount of research on this phytonutrient for a lot of different things. Some of the main benefits for ginseng, and it's quite extensive, is increasing your vitality, your memory, your energy, of course, supporting insulin and blood sugars, so that's gonna actually handle a lot of other associated things, helping you to be more alert and focused, yet calm. And there's also some great studies on it supporting testosterone and all the benefits of having that, especially if you're over 50. So some of the studies I'm gonna quote, I'm gonna put a link down below, um, study uh, the effects of this phytonutrient on the brain. And it has anti-amyloid properties, which is very, very cool because as you may know, amyloid plaquing occurs in Alzheimer's patients. So that is a big problem. And it's always difficult finding some natural way to reduce amyloid plaquing. Also, there's some fantastic research in this plant-based chemical supporting arrhythmias. I'm talking about atrial fibrillation, palpitations, and other benefits to your heart. I included another study of it supporting uh, the hippocampus. Now, the hippocampus is a structure in your brain that is basically a relay uh, switch in memories and spatial memory, helping you locate yourself in time and space. Also, there's some great data on alleviating depression. That's probably why it gives you energy and it makes you more alert. So it has a lot to do with supporting the cognitive function. And some of the chemistry in ginseng uh, acts like a steroid, and all of the sex hormones are steroids. All right, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Hey, we're back. With another amazing recipe. No grains, no sugar, totally keto. There's no suffering in keto. Absolutely not, Karen. And it's an immune system builder. Absolutely. You have to check this out. I think you should hurry up, watch the recipe, and make it yourself. It's just so easy to be keto. But is it simple? It's super simple. We hope you enjoy making it as much as we are enjoying eating it.